Hey everyone, that is one really big bright full moon. You know, tonight it's gonna be like, I think 37 degrees, pretty chilly. Right now I'm making some ground beef. This, this stuff right here, it's real. It's not the vegetarian stuff, it's freeze dried. And it tastes exactly the same as the fresh stuff. It's amazing, it just has a different texture obviously. And I actually like the different texture. It reminds me of the little balls of sausage they put on pizzas. Well, I'm slowly heating this thing up. Well, actually, I shut it off because I'm, I, don't, I don't like leaving the stove on, even though if I'm going outside for just five, ten minutes. I don't even want to leave it on low. Well, I just posted a video, I think yesterday, of making this stuff in a video, comparing this to the vegetarian product and comparing it to the vegetarian product of the 19... 70s. The one in the 1970s survived perfectly. The new thing tasted exactly the same. That is over here. Compared to this, I don't like it, but eventually I'll eat it. Once you open them like I opened them, they're both big cans. Well, you see here, this can will probably make it about four times. It gets a little bigger once you add the water to it. Then you have to strain it out with like a spaghetti strainer. It works pretty good. And Side by side, I don't want to eat that one. So they have to be eaten separately because this one I think is a lot better. So I'm going to head outside into my garden. I'm going to pick a few fresh tomatoes and some lettuce. We'll make it a little more healthy, I think. The sad thing about living up north is your garden produces massively right before a frost is about to occur. But this entire pot, I plan on bringing in the house. I'm going to see if I can get this gigantic plant to survive the winter. Maybe. I'll definitely extend its life. What do you guys think? Should I put it in the basement with a massive grow lamp? Or should I put it upstairs in a big window? I have a big picture window I could probably put it in. Security light. Ah, oh, there we go. Security light's on. Yeah, tonight's going to be 37 degrees. That's not far away from having a big frost that would kill off the garden. Although some things like carrots and broccoli, supposedly they are pretty tolerant to a frost. But not the tomato plants. I don't know about the corn. The corn is not developed yet, but I'm confident we'll get something. Because even though tonight's going to be cold, the whole rest of the forecast is well above freezing. Next week, it actually starts getting pretty warm out again. Hopefully, we don't get a frost for another month. Where I live here, this far north, I think we're in growing zone 4, maybe 3. But here, you can get a frost in September. It's unlikely. It's usually in the early October. Sometimes we get lucky and we get to almost November. But typically our growing season up here is June, July, August, where you definitely won't have a frost. But usually we have four months or so, which is safe. But this year we had a frost that was very late. Our growing season starts on the 30th of June. No, June 1st. The 30th is... The t no, that's... The top of my state is... June 15th, but that was late. We got a frost like a couple days before the growing season began. And last year, I, I could have literally planted May 1st and it would have been fine. This year, we had big frosts like May 20 something. And this thing's still going. I probably won't even use its footage. I just posted a beautiful video of it growing to what it is like a week ago. And you could see in that footage, it took off so slowly. Then in just literally the past couple of weeks, the corn, everything like doubled its height. And this garden's been producing thousands of tomatoes. So many that some of them are just rotting right off the plant. I went to my mom's house a week ago, brought her like a hundred tomatoes. Brought my grandpa, or he came over and picked them, like a hundred tomatoes. And last week, if you saw that video, I probably posted it like yesterday or today. I ripped out tons of the lettuce. I ripped out a bunch of the carrots and brought them to my friend's tortoise. I thought I was bringing so many, I brought a large cooler full of them. But it's a 60-pound tortoise. He ate it all in like an hour. So I'm going to have to bring him more of it. I also researched because we used to give him broccoli and things. That's only as a treat. Like, it's not good for him if I ripped out all these plants and gave him all that. Because the leaves are edible, but not good for the tortoise to eat that many. I still have yet to do it. I'm sure they're not going to just go bad, but maybe they'll shrivel up. In here are potatoes. The plants died over a month ago, but supposedly they're still down there. Got to watch the electric fence. I just watered it. I'm trying to accelerate it a little bit 
because it's the end of the year. In the back there, I got the sunflowers. I have to go back there because they're all done. Just so you can tie, kind of dying off. They already had their flower. I have to go back there and cut those and get them in the house because I saw a squirrel in here today. I don't think he discovered them yet. Maybe he was just passing through. I got to bring those in the house and dry them out and then I can eat them. Because I'm not growing those again next year. Next year I want to grow the massive ones that get taller than the corn. Which I actually just got the other day on the discount shelf at Walmart. Massive ones. They come in a can. Yeah, they were 50% off. They'll be good next year. So in here, I'm thinking about maybe this week ripping out a good portion of the carrots again. Seeing if we have enough um, potatoes. Maybe we can make mashed potatoes or something. And we got the corn and I also have a turkey that's been in my freezer for over a year. Before it gets freezer burned and like destroyed, I'm thinking about making like a Thanksgiving dinner with all this stuff before we get a big frost. So I just want to grab a couple leaves of lettuce so I can put them on my burger. And every, yeah, everything's wet. I just watered this. I'm tripping over things. See, I got this little pool in here. You would think that would just attract mosquitoes, but a big spider is always over here and he eats all the mosquitoes. I find the spider. A little beneficial. I don't know where he is, but this thing we did have to use insecticides a few times, but not recently. We only saw one tomato hornworm earlier in the year, although something's making holes again. I don't think I'm going to treat again this late in the year. The moon is so bright. I have my headlamp on just so you guys can see, but I love going on walks when we got a full moon. It's beautiful. See the corn? The corn should be ready to pick, I'd say, in a, maybe a couple weeks. It's getting big fast. This is the second time in my life I ever tried growing corn. Last time I was successful, the corn didn't get nearly as tall. This is way more healthy and I, I, because I planted it properly. When I was a little kid, I planted it. It grew, it grew full cobs, but when I peeled them open, just couldn't bring myself to eat it. There were so many earwigs inside it. Here's a zucchini plant. Do we have anything? I see one right there. Hopefully it develops. The last one just completely rotted. And back here, we got the sunflowers. Yeah, I got to pick these, bring them in the house so they can dry off. Hopefully, I remember to do that tomorrow. And down here, this big empty spot. This was my cucumber plants, which died off weeks ago. See back here, my tomatoes. These ones, look, I have to pick them. Look, a few are literally falling off because they're over-ripening. There's just too many. So, yeah, I'll find people to bring them to. Just pick a couple. You can also put them on a plate, slice them. Yeah, there's so many in here. And these are, like I said, are called Morrow Globe. Those are called Big Beef. Look at the size of those. Massive things. Oh, oops. Yeah. Uh, uh, oh. <laughs> well, that green one might still ripen in my window. Although, what's, this one got a hole. That might be the tomato hornworm. Yeah, so those are big beef, these two rows. Those two rows were the Mar Marrow Globe, and then I have like so many rows of cherry tomatoes because I was like addicted to them earlier in the year. I'd buy boxes of them, eat them as I drove. I'm over it now, not now that they're all, there's so many of them. But this year I learned in the garden, I planted. This is like an overperforming garden, and I'm not, I'm not going to be canning anything this year. Maybe next year. I bought mason jars. I just don't want to do it right now. Next year, I'm going to have maybe a quarter of the tomato plants. And the extra space will be more cucumbers, which I wish I had more of this year. I also wish I had another zucchini plant. So that, that'll be the difference next year. Corn, maybe I'll cut the patch in half next year, although it does better in a patch. Yeah, the thing with corn is it's all done at the same time, so i got to find people to give that to. All right, let's go back in the house. Forgot to grab a few pieces of lettuce. This kind of lettuce I don't really like, but it'll make my food look pretty. Yeah, I grew this because it came in a kit. Next year I want to grow Iceberg, which is my favorite. I love the crunch, even though it's not as good for you as other types. Just in time for the washing machine. Woo! My contractor... Like three years ago told me that laundry detergent's one of the worst things to put into a septic system. So I put this grate here. 
so it all comes out into the yard instead. I have a septic field, so if anyone wants to complain about what's coming out of here into the yard, it's literally coming into the yard anyways. Just a foot underground. I'm gonna just blasting out of that hole. Can you see that down there? Cool. It's all dirt here because I am planting new grass around this area of the yard. But this thing's been there for three years. Like you see the pipe it just came out of. Yeah. I just redid the whole end right here. It'll grow back in soon. This is how I like my tomatoes. Nice and juicy, the Maro Globe. But the big beef, why did this happen? Is it overripe? It's, I, I, I almost describe it as like a semi-frozen taste, but it's not frozen. It's like the texture of being frozen, but not really. You can even kind of see it compared to the nice juicy ones. I'm running a little on empty in the refrigerator. I wish I had some cheese. Oh well, I got my bun right there. It's not even heated up yet. I just turned it on, but it's warm enough. I haven't eaten all day. So the next one will be nice and warm because I'll probably eat three of them or so. Here we go. Thought I'd make more of them today before the buns I bought last week go bad. Put a few, one of these on there. Yeah, we'll put two of them on there like that. Put a little bit of fresh lettuce on there. Just makes it look fancy, right? Put it on like that. And that looks pretty good. Yeah. I think that looks pretty tasty. What do you guys think? Looks pretty yummy. Anyways, everyone, I hope this little video was interesting. Thanks for watching, and have a great day. Oh my god, that one looks like a butt crack.